Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another review. In this video, I will be reviewing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Came out in theaters June 2nd, 2023, and it's rated PG. It is a hard PG, close to PG-13, but not quite there yet. There is some language in the movie. I think I heard a shit go around, but I could have been wrong. Who knows? Um... This movie is meant for, um, I wouldn't say for young kids, I would say for fans of Spider-Man that I, that's actually legitimately any age. Um, adults, kids can enjoy this. Just be prepared if you take your family to the movie because like it, it is a hard PG and I heard some PG movies that did have some bad language in it, so it's not the first uh, PG movie that I've seen with bad language. So just keep that in mind. Um, so what the movie is about, Miles Morales um, catapults across the uh, metaverse um, where he encounters a team of spider people um, charged with protecting the very existence when the when the heroes cl uh, clash how to handle a new threat miles must redefine what what it means to be a hero so pretty much what the beginning of the movie like actually i'm not going to spoil the movie for you but um it is like a lot of the movie is about gwen stacy like what happens to everybody after the first film and there there is a lot of you know, stuff that happens to Gwen Stacy. And that, and it shows you how she joins up with this team. Then you meet up with Miles Morales, like, like almost to, like, near the end of Act 1, I would say, or mid-Act 1, towards the end of Act 1. Um, he's doing his Spider-Man things, and he meets up with his, um, quote-unquote, arch-nemesis spot. And... Pretty much they have a big old fight. This is all in the trailer, by the way, so I'm not really spoiling much. It's on the way to the PTA meeting, so... Yeah, it's it's all in the trailer, so like I said. Um, after encountering Spots, um, pretty much he um, meets up with the family and everything like that, and everything starts, everything starts to go down. The beginning of the movie is fine, but there is some slow pacing like near the middle of the movie before you get into the metaverse stuff that it that kind of doesn't need to be there. So just keep that in mind. And like the middle of the movie, when it when it comes to the Spider-Verse stuff, it's a lot of action and a lot of story building, a lot of world building, too especially once you're in the spider um like when you're in the main headquarters of the spider people so uh near the end like it's a lot a lot of build up like a lot of crazy shit goes down now keep this in mind i did not know that this was a cliffhanger movie so i was so pumped to see the climax until i saw the to be continued at the end of the movie Unfortunately, I had to go to work, so I could not see if there was any uh, mid-scene credits or end-scene credit. I mean, well, yeah, you, you guys know what I mean. Um, the scene, like, mid-credit scene and the um, end credit scene. I, I don't know if there's any of those. I'm pretty sure there are because it is the superhero movie. Overall, the story of the movie was okay. Um a lot of patient pacing issues and i personally don't like cliffhanger movies um from what i've been hearing the third one's going to be coming out next year so we're not going to get a five-year wait like we did with this one so that's cool unless there is big production issues so we'll, we'll see what happens um definitely need to watch the third one as far as the animation style and the acting and everything else, performance, the animation style is probably the 
best part of the movie. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is this is one of the best comic book movies that you can see out there. They're, they have like three or four. Okay, they have a different anime style animation styles that you see. Like there's even some live action stuff. So like I'm I'm pretty sure like one of the scenes is the convenience store in Venom. I haven't seen the new Venom. Or the old Venom, so I wouldn't know. It it seems like it because you know Sony owns the rights to Venom, and there's a there's a scene where there's a Lego movie, um, Lego movie reference. So that's pretty cool. A, a lot of a lot of Easter eggs when it comes to various universes. When it comes to Spider Man, um, as far as the acting, if you guys seen the first one, you guys know. The acting is spot on. The voice cast is spot on. They use the same voice actors as returning characters. So uh, let me pull up the INDB real quick. I don't know why I did not have it up. Um, uh, Shenick uh, Moore, Miles Morales, My Miles Morales. I don't know why I cannot pronounce his name. Haley um, Stainfield as Gwen Stafe. Gwen Stacy, um, Oscar Isaac as Miguel. Let me talk to you about Miguel real quick. He is the Spider-Man um, 99. He's in charge of the spider people. So he kind of reminds you like, like, like he has to make all the right. He has to make all the hard calls. That's what I'm, that's the only thing I'm going to say. Um, Jake Johnson as uh, Peter B. Parker. Um, Issa wrote uh, Issa Re or Issa Re as Spider Woman, the new Spider Woman that that's in the second movie. So yeah, like you got those are the main uh, the main characters that you're gonna see. Oh, and let's see, there's there's one more that I want to um, recognize. Um, Kareen, um, Sony, I mean, yeah, Sony, I, it sounds like Sony, but, um, is Spider-Man India. Spider-Man India was really, really cool, so. So, yeah, and, so, yes, so, yeah, this Spider-Man India was actually really cool. He was probably one of my favorite Spider-Man out of the movie, um, besides Miles Morales, Overall, what I thought about the movie, um, everything was great, except for the pacing that I mentioned earlier and the to be continued at the end. If, if it was kind of its own movie, I would probably give it a five out of five. However, the pacing and the to be continued is probably going to get three and a half to four out of five for me because... It was amazing, amazing buildup. Like third act was craziness, a lot's going on, and you're so pumped to see the end. And they, I felt like it just slaps your ass in the face because you know, getting slapped, getting slapped in the ass to my face, you know, really, really hurts. I know from experience. So yeah. Um, let me know if you've seen the movie or if you are going to see the movie. Uh, put it down in the put your thoughts down in the comments. Please give this video a like. I do want to become a partner, a YouTube partner. So please uh, shoot me a subscribe. And Phil stuff will come soon. I do want to talk about him getting a thousand dollars from Jack Jack's Raxter, probably in the next day or two. And Maybe some video game streams. Next movie review, main movie review that I'm going to probably do is Transformers and everything else coming out in June. But the main big one, it will be Transformers. So look out for that. This is G Million and I am out like Donkey Kong. I don't know. Fuck this.